Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to make a reaction robot using Python similar to the demo with Me6 that you're about to see here. So as you can see, at first we have a user with absolutely no roles and all they can see is this text channel called Verify and a welcome message from Me6 telling them to react to this message. Now once we react to the message, the user will gain the verified role and they can see the actual text channels and they no longer see the verified channel. This is a very common thing set up by most Discord servers, allowing people to verify that the user is not a bot and to give them the permissions that you actually want them to have. I've set up a new server which has absolutely nothing on it. We've just got one text channel and one voice channel. First thing that you wanna do is go into the server settings, into the roles, default permissions, and you want to create a new role. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna say verified and give it a color. I'll say green and then go to permissions. We want to have the view channel set to true. This is the role that the user's gonna have once they're actually verified. So we want them to see all the channels. We want them to actually be able to send messages, we want to send new threads, create public threads, whatever you want the user to be able to do by default this is what you'll enable over here so I'm gonna save changes I think that's enough then you go to everyone and you want to make sure that the view channels is turned off that they're not allowed to send any messages react or do absolutely anything you want all of the permissions really to be completely off now we're gonna create a new text channel and we're gonna name it verify and in here you will want to go to the edit channel permissions and over here add a new role verified in the at everyone you want the users to be able to see the channel and you want them to be able to react to messages and you do that by saying read message history and tick that the rest you want to have turned off because you don't want the user to be able to do anything other than react into the message that we're going to have displayed over there so we save the changes and for verified don't want them to see the channel at all because once they're verified they don't ever need to see that channel ever again. And now we're gonna go over to me6.xyz and we're gonna log in. Once you're logged in, you're gonna be presented with this server selection. Select the server you want to add it to. Click continue, authorize. Now once you're here, you want to go to the search bar and type in reaction roles. And once you're in here, you'll want to add a new reaction role. Select the channel, which is going to be the verify channel. And then in here, we're gonna use just a default text message, but you can choose an embed if you want. Add a reaction, which is gonna have a thumbs up button and role verified. Can add more roles, so if you want to have people uh, if a person clicks on, let's say a smiley face, you might want to give them admin privileges or something like that. You can add a diff you can add different roles over here, and we're actually going to be setting this up in our bot later as well. And just save and close. So once that's done, you should have the Me Six bot online and the text message displayed over here with the default reaction right here. And now if I go back to my other account, you can see that all we see is this text message again and we can react to it. And now that the users reacted to it, they got the role verified. To set up your own Discord reaction bot, we'll head over to the Discord developer console and click on applications, new application, and name this app, name this bot whatever you want. Then go over to the bot section, click on add bot. Yes, do it. Then OAuth section, we'll click on in-app authorization. Bot, we'll give it admin privileges, save changes. Then to the URL generator, we'll click on bot again, admin again, and copy the link. Go to the browser, paste the link in. Bot channel, that's the channel I'm gonna add it to. Authorize, I'm a human. Now that that's done, we'll need to go and get the API token, which we can do by going to the bot section, then copy the token, and now we can go over to our editor, save the token in token.txt file. We can now create our entry point, which we'll call main.py, and first off, we'll import all of the needed libraries. We'll create our Discord client by saying discord.client, and now we can listen for the on ready event, inside of which we're going to get the verified channel ID. Right, so what's going on here? Well, first off, we're gonna cycle for all of the guilds, inside of which we're gonna check for all of the channels that are inside of that guild, and we're gonna look for the verified channel, which is this channel here that the user is gonna see at first, and no other channels. And we're gonna get the channel ID and store it in a global variable that we're gonna access later on. Now, we're gonna listen for any of the reactions made to the message that we're gonna to display to the user at first, the welcome message. 
Lastly, we're going to check if the message reacted to is in inside of the verified channel and we're going to check for the emoji that we want to have. In this case, it's going to be the thumbs up emoji. And then we're going to give the verified role to the user by calling reaction.member.addRoles with the verified role. If you want to add more roles, let's say if a user presses on a smiley emoji, you want to give them an admin role, you can copy this code into an ls statement change your emoji inside of here and change the name of the role inside of here and that will give the user a different role by reacting to a different emoji lastly we need to actually start up our bot by saying client dot run with the token environment variable that's going to connect our bot to discord back on discord we'll need to actually add the welcome message for the user so as admin we can say like welcome to the channel and then we'll add a default reaction of the thumbs up. And now we can actually start the bot. We'll start off by setting the environment variable token to be equal to our token variable. And finally, we can run Python main.py. So as you can see, our senior engineer currently doesn't have the verified role. So all that they can see is this welcome message that we wrote out earlier. And when we react to it, we get the verified role and we get access to all of the channels. Now for the gotchas. First of all, why do we have to use this str.strip? Sometimes inside of the channel name, Discord likes to put new lines into it which can mess up when you try to compare the strings. So that's why we have to have this str.strip inside of here. Another common gotcha is if you go into the server settings and under roles, you need to make sure that the reaction role is above all of the other roles. Otherwise, the bot might not have the permissions to actually give the role to the user. So just make sure that this is right at the top. And that's it. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button and I'll see you in the next one.